take on. All right, so I've got my, my first three keyframes. I can check those in preview. I have them labeled one, two, three. And now I'm working on my fourth keyframe, which according to my sketch, I actually start, start to have my creature really shiver and ice starts to build up at his feet. So I like making the duplicates because this shows me I'm already set up for my fourth keyframe. And here I'm already set up. This is my fourth set of my character and I've changed it. I haven't changed the shadow yet. Let me just move that a little bit each time. Okay, but now I'm gonna add to my character some of this ice. So just some quick, quick compositing. I have all these different references to use. I think this is a good one to start with because it's on the ground. Immediately I'm going to rasterize it so I can erase away from it. I'm going to use a 100% eraser, soft edged and large to get rid of the hard edges. Right now it's on top of my character, which is fine. Now I'm going to take the opacity down on my eraser because I got rid of the hard edges. And because I want the ice to start gathering around its feet, I'm going to start at a lower opacity taking it down. Just like snow building up on the ground. It's going to happen slowly. And you see in future layers, I just make it more and more opaque and it will look like that. So that's just his feet and the ground around it uh, kind of getting frozen. But it starts here. Okay. Now I'll move on from the character to the atmosphere, make a duplicate. Move it around a little. Not sure if I remember to move it around for the last keyframe, but this is this is subtle. And now the crystals, I want to make a little bit more opaque. And this is a nice trick for rain or snow. I'm going to Control T, and actually, I'll make a duplicate of the crystals to do this, so I can just toggle them on and off. Um, and I'm going to control T and flip them horizontally. So basically in an animation, if you go from it being flipped one way to the other, it's going to, as long as it's subtle, it will look like, like a sheet of something, you know, in the sky. You don't have to animate the individual raindrops on their way down. You can just kind of show a shimmer. And that works for reflections in water and all kinds of things. Now, if anything, I want a little bit more atmosphere around and on top of my creature. So I'm going to internally composite a little. Grab some of the atmosphere that's there. Maybe actually from my crystal layer. Duplicate that, move that on top of my, my character. So this is the atmosphere now on top of the character. Stretch it. 
I could worry about erasing the hard edges, right? But remember, GIF animations are not feature length films. So we're just playing around, but I'm going to try to do things right here and erase the edges at 100%. But that just gives me a way to start building up the atmosphere around my creature as well, because that, that air around, around him is getting really, really cold now. I took this up to 50%. It can be helpful to look back at my downloads before I make final decisions, just see where I was before, right? So I'm going from this, which I'll shrink a little bit, to this. So that doesn't seem like too big a shift. And I'm starting to introduce ice and get a little bit, bit of movement in the sky. So yep, this will work. So I save my progress as a PSD, and then I file and say, ex export it as a JPEG. And then I look at my downloads, and I label this number four. So four out of nine, not too bad. Okay. Now I look at my sketch again, and we're to this one, a big jump where his whole body is almost covered in ice. So I just, I work the same process. Start at the bottom, duplicate of the background, because I am playing with the background. Gonna darken it and desaturate it some more. I can do that all from hue saturation. Gets drearier and drearier. Colder and colder. The clouds are gonna build up more. obscuring more and more. Let's go to 75. And I might use my low opacity eraser just so I don't lose so much of my mountain landscape. Soften that transition a little bit. And now for my character and the ice on my character. I want to select all three of these and duplicate them. Turn off the ones underneath. Start with the shadow, which is going to become less and less important as there's ice covering it up. And then my character itself, puppet warp. But I'm going to start changing I meant to do this in the last one. I'm going to start changing the colors on my character as well so that the warmth in it is starting to get lost at this point. And so now he's fully cuddling himself. Oh, I didn't anchor the feet, so you saw how it all moved. And his beak is continuing to go up. And his chest is going in. And now I'm bringing his fin into the body. And the only problem with that, that's what I want. I want him to kind of hug himself. But the only problem with that is that um, now I won't be able to find the point of his fin anymore. Because it won't be part of the silhouette anymore. Poor guy, feel for him. All right. 
And now the ice, I'm going to take that and I'm going to duplicate it so it's a little bit stronger and then merge those two together. There we go. Oops. See that? And then maybe erase a little bit away from it. And then I don't love how that fin is so close to the tip, so I'm going to actually edit my character. You can always do direct edits. And Puppet Warp does kind of soften your detail as you go, so I'm just going to take this chunk out of it. That's GIF animation. It's, it's all okay. All right, now... I'm going to composite in a new element as well, because this doesn't yet reflect my sketch with ice all the way around him. And so for that, where do I have it? Yes. I use more of this ice reference. I think I want to use this around the feet. these organic textures because I can warp them as I like. Use my eraser and 100% opacity. Get rid of those hard edges. Oh, I have to rasterize it first. Come on. There it is, rasterized. Take its opacity down. Curious what it would look like. No, it's too muddied. Too muddied. So yeah, just take the opacity down. And now I'm just going to kind of go for, for broke and then work backwards. Um, so looking at my sketch, if I'm deciding, I know I need more to get to this point than this, then I can already decide, I know that. So I can already decide I'm going to do an extra three frames here. Or I could just go right to this one and then go back to it and try to make the ones in between. But I think I'm just going to, try to build up this transition to this transition into three frames instead of just one. So this will be the first frame. And then I'll play with the atmosphere. I want to up that, that atmosphere right on my creature to a higher percentage. I want to flip the crystals again in the sky. Maybe make them just a little bit more opaque. Maybe soften them again a little bit. No, that's too much. <laughs> so filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Yeah, not seven pixels. There. All right. And I want to play with the atmosphere. And play with its color. Make it kind of a light blue. There we go. So it's looking cold for sure for my little guy. Erase away a little bit more of this so it has there we go. A little bit more in common with the other panels. 